right now at 11. The suspect accused of murdering a queen's mother and dumping her body is set to face a judge. And tonight, new details are emerging about the man police say is a scorned lover who snapped. Uh, investigators say the suspect is the family's handyman who'd had an affair with the mother of two. Police say he stabbed her to death in what they call a crime of passion. That's right, Christina Maurice, the suspect, is about to be arraigned any minute inside court behind me on charges of second-degree murder and criminal tampering. Police say he is a scorned lover who told investigators that he had no intention of killing Orsalia Gall when he went to her home over the weekend, but in the heat of an argument, he snapped. 44-year-old David Bonola scours and curses as he's walked out of a police precinct in handcuffs Thursday. Investigators brought the Queens resident in for questioning hours earlier in the murder of Orsalia Gall and say it didn't take long before the suspect confessed. They have been having an intimate affair for approximately two years. Bonola was working as the family's handyman when police believe he began a romantic relationship with the 51-year-old wife and mother of two. A social media account under Bonola's name often commented on Gall's photos over a year ago posting to Mirada Enamorada, your look in love. But investigators believe recently the affair turned sour and Bonola went to Gall's Forest Hills home early Saturday morning to talk. He is either let in voluntarily or he uses a key he has knowledge about hidden in the barbecue. A heated argument ensues between the two in the basement. A knife is brandished. A violent struggle ensues. Gall was stabbed more than 50 times. Police say the suspect stuffed her body in her son's hockey bag, dragged it several blocks away, and ditched it on the side of the road. The next day, we're told Bonola was treated at the hospital for deep stab wounds in his hand. Detectives also developed leads which led them to a location where boots, a T-shirt and bloody bandages were discovered. The victim spent her final hours at Lincoln Center with friends Friday before returning home. Gall's husband and eldest son were out of state, but her 13-year-old son was upstairs when she was killed. Neighbors we spoke to are grateful for an arrest. Everybody's still here trying to get some kind of, uh, you know, snapshot of what's going on. The husband hasn't been back here. We're all relieved, um, absolutely relieved. Um, We'll see for the family as well, the family and their friends. That's, that's first the most important part. And police believe after the attack, the suspect sent threatening text messages from the victim's cell phone to her husband in an attempt to pin the crime on someone else. Prior to this, Benola had no criminal history. We're live outside the Queen's Criminal Courthouse in Kew Gardens.